Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Start. Honorable Prime Minister and friends, it is appropriate that our beloved Prime Minister should participate in the Silver Jubilee celebrations of this institution. The Jubilee report presented by the popular principal of the college is a clear proof of the rich and rewarding progress the institution has made during the last 25 years. This progress is largely due to the dynamic vision of its founder and the devotion to duty of the members of the staff. This institution has rightly become not only a great symbol of academic standards, but has indeed become a part of the cultural heritage of Tamil Nadu. This college had the rare distinction of being inaugurated by the late Rajaji and we feel sorry that that great statesman is not with us today to bless this institution. Girls education in Tamil Nadu has made several important improvements particularly in the last two decades. The progressive policy followed by the government of Tamil Nadu in extending the benefits of free education up to the pre-university level in the colleges has made it possible for students of even the underprivileged sections of society to enter the doors of institutions of higher education. It is sometimes felt that this expansion in numbers has led to a fall in standards. This need not necessarily be so. With greater participation of teachers and willing cooperation of the students, it should be possible to ensure a proper climate for better progress in education. Education is not merely a passport to a degree. It is, in its fullest sense, a preparation for life. I am glad to note that this institution always gives due importance to the academic attainments of its pupils and tries to promote all-round development and integrated personality of the students. In a developing country like ours, where in spite of financial difficulties, a heavy investment in education is being made an educated person owes a duty to society to use properly his or her knowledge and learning for the general advancement of the common people of our country. The common man of our country has much common sense and rich experience. It is only when a person's skill merges with the traditional experience of the common man that the country can make real progress. I am very happy 
to offer you my congratulations and hope that this institution will have an even brighter future from the president public welfare committee 25 bells road triplicane madras 5 to the commissioner for civil supplies anna salai madras 2 sir i would like to bring to your notice that in some fair price shops the traders keep two balances one which is correct and certified and the other defective the defective one is used for sale of goods while the good one is kept inside to be shown when the officers come for inspection against complaint in the hurry with which the customers are attended to it is impossible to check the correct weight in respect of quality it is noticed that stones and sand are freely added to wheat pulses and rice bags if pointed out the shopkeepers plead that they were there in the original bags received from the government godowns so the inspectors should make surprise visits to the shops and check the weights and balance once in a month yours faithfully